What's up, y'all? I'm barefoot in the garden. Uh, let me start. Let me say this right quick. I always forget to say this at the beginning. I say it at the end, and I need to be saying it at the beginning. I want to thank all my new subscribers. I'm at 1,500. Like I said, I don't know who is watching, but <laughs> well, I know the people that tell me that they're watching. But I just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. If you like my content, please share my content. If you don't like my content, don't share my content. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of, it's kind of real simple with me. So, um, I think I showed these soaker hoses in another video. Now, this is the first time I'm running them on my pump, my rainwater pump. And I can tell you now, they work better uh, if you're running that on city uh, water. Those soaker hoses work better with a little bit more pressure. So, uh, what I'm going to do is, hold on, give me two seconds. Y'all just bear with me. I got to unscrew. Oh, Lord. Oh, when I tell you. These ants and things. I just, ooh. I don't understand. So, I fixed the impeller in my, uh, I fixed the impeller in my pump, and look how good my stuff is spraying now. But uh, that that amount of pressure is still not enough to uh, that amount of pressure is still not enough to run that soaker hose. So the soaker hose works better on city pressure. Um, so you know, just so you know. But if you're watering with your city pressure, with your city water or just straight out of a hose or whatever, by all means, uh, the soaker hose is gonna work perfect for you. So I'm gonna walk in water. Uh, but yeah, ooh, that new impeller got my stuff just singing. So, uh, I got some growth out here that's looking pretty good. A couple of my peppers is just load it down it rained two days ago so y'all will probably see this is not going to be a real in-depth watering uh use the rain to help you when it water when it rains when you come back and water i realize everybody don't water every day though but when you come back and water let it be like you just keeping the ground moist or whatever so that can be uh what you doing you know when you got nose ass neighbors that like to fight all the time and they be all in your business child i simply cannot i simply cannot let me tell y'all something right quick let me tell you so this morning the woman across the street now we used to be cool till i found out she was on that QAnon bullshit so when you like that and it's it, that conspiracy theory mess it's too much for me, especially when it's super extreme. Okay, if y'all know anything about QAnon, y'all know that stuff was real extreme. The stuff they was trying to say people was doing, drinking, eating babies, and drinking baby blood, and all of this stuff. Ain't nobody got time for that. You stupid as hell. Them QAnon people, the same people that ran up in the Capitol that my ancestors built, quit running up in my shit. But anyway, um, so that being said, she out here fighting the whole man this morning. I don't talk to the heifer no more. It's not that I don't dislike her. It's just that it's not going to be much that we agree on. And, you know, all your conversations revolve around conspiracy theories. It's not going to be much that we're going to have to talk about. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? She wants to debate with me about things in science. And I've told her two or three times. I have a biology degree. I'm sorry if you don't believe in science because you can't understand it. Please excuse the mowing. They mowing next door. Um, so that being said, the heifer was out here fighting with an old man on the porch this morning. That ain't got nothing to do with me. I mind my business. I hear y'all fighting, but I'm not butting into that. I'm not looking up. I'm going to do what I got to do. Because I've been out here working. I've been out here. I had one more set of papayas to up pot. I had, um, I had, uh, some seeds I needed to water in the greenhouse. Um, you know, things like that. And don't y'all worry about them peppers leaning over. They'll stand back up. 
this water is a little high, but like I said, I'm on my rainwater pump. I can't control the pressure. Um, but anyway, y'all look at these. It's peppers. Can y'all just see? It's peppers that's all up in here. That's that Creole salad. This one over here is the Scotch bonnet, though. Um, but it's just peppers all over up in here. My fish peppers. And I'm going to interrupt my story right quick to tell y'all this. Can y'all see how those leaves at the top are curled? Don't be like me. So before this rain, I was, I was not consistently watering. Please consistently water. You get that leaf curl on your peppers and your tomatoes and stuff, and it can potentially stunt your stuff if you keep letting that happen. So y'all water. Try your best to water as consistently as you can. Um, I was trying to wait on rain, and all the meteorologists need to be fired because... It kept saying rain, no rain, rain, no rain. I mean, three, four, five days in a row. And if you notice that it's not going to rain or it says rain and it's not looking like it, y'all be watching the weather or what have you, just gone in water. I was being hard-headed trying to wait. Don't be like me. Water your stuff. Your plants can't get the nutrients and stuff they need without water. So anyway, back to my story. So she was out there this morning fighting cold, man. They ain't got nothing to do with me. She fight with him all the time. Now, let me say this. It's highly um, possible that these people are meth heads. Um, has nothing to do with me. Y'all do what you want to do with your body. I refuse to put any... I don't I don't barely take Tylenol. Well, I don't take Tylenol because it don't do nothing for me. But um, I don't barely take pain medication, let alone narcotics. So, that being said, she, you know, she already a little scatterbrained because of that milk. You know, that milk have you about half crazy. And she be out here fighting with an old man. So today, you know, I'm filming and I look up and she watching me like a hawk. Now she calls herself. She always be talking about, oh, I just been up in the house praying. And I be wanting to say praying to what? The milk God? Like, baby, please miss me with all that because you're not praying. Once again, I keep trying to tell people, I don't know what God these people serve. I don't know what God they serve. What God do you serve when you can believe in some of the stuff you believe in? It's okay to treat certain folks a certain way. It's okay to spread malicious and false rumors about people. It's okay. Like, all of this stuff is okay. So, Jesus was out here uh, gossiping. You know what I'm saying? Like, if Jesus was here today, would he be on gossip? You know, these, these gossip websites and stuff. Would he be on that stuff? Anyway, she over there watching me like a hawk. Baby, don't watch me like a hawk. Y'all sit out there, smoke weed, smoke milk, smoke all that stuff all day long. I mind my business. Don't be looking over here staring at me like you trying to get my attention. You're not going to get my attention. You dog the hell out of that man every chance you get, but you still live there with him. Let me give y'all a piece of advice. If y'all gonna be with somebody that you have to argue with 24-7, you might want to get rid of them. Because I got news for you. There is no amount of stress. There is no amount. By the way, I got these tomatoes a little bit more trellised up. That's another thing. I think my tomatoes wasn't producing the best because of my, inact my, my uh, inadequate watering. Um, but I'm seeing a little bit more blooms. It also might be because of the heat. It's gotten so hot. Um, if anybody's been living outside of a cave, you know that the south is going through a heat wave. My comfort's looking good though. But these, these mini San Marzanos, they're steadily just, they're just making. You know what I'm saying? You see the bloom. They're just making. They have tomatoes. I, it's a few of them in there. You see them starting to turn right in there. See those? But tell yeah, y'all, tell I cannot. She finally done turned around. Praise God. Don't, st I just, I can't, I can't handle it. You want too much. And cush y'all. Thou art loose. I think, y'all see my bangs. I think what I'm going to do, let me just water this while I'm standing here. I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to let this cush y'all. Y'all see it on the corner? I'm going to let it grow up into this bed. And maybe wind it back and forth through this bed. Because you see how you, your watermelons will do this. Where you planted them at, they'll grow all out there and let me just take y'all and show y'all so i'm gonna tell you what i've been trying to do so these these vines they'll grab the grass right so 
I've been trying to throw them this way where they will go out that way. Um, that's what I'm trying to do. That way I can mow over here. So this will be a little line of mow over there. I'm going to let them take over that corner. But, y'all, so I got to be careful. It's an ant mound right there. Look at the little lizzie. Oh, hey, little lizzie. Hey, you looking at me? Yes, you are. They are so cute. He's like an inch and a half. So there's a melon there. I haven't been pollinating anything. It's melons all in here, but I can't really move them like how I want. Make sure ain't no cars coming. Because I got to step in the street. It's an ant mound over there. I can't be fooled with that. Just like there's a female there. I bet you $5 that sucker will take. But um, I can jump over here and show y'all there's another female. Um, don't know where this, this baby came from. Look, there's another one. There's a female on the end of there. Um, here's, look here. See in there? It's one in there somewhere. Probably more than one. But I did harvest a couple of melons. Okay, this one, the tendril. They be talking about harvesting when the tendril is dry. I'm really going to take this off only because I don't think it's going to get no bigger. Um, so a lot of times when it comes to, uh, and I'm going to wrench this up. A lot of times when it comes to those earlier melons, it just seems to me, hold on y'all. All right, sorry about that y'all. So, some of those earlier melons, they just seemed like they wasn't getting very big. I had a couple of busts on me. Um, it just seems like once my melons escaped this bed and went that away, they just went on and did their thing. But since I don't have a lot of cover on this ground anymore, because a lot of these leaves, like I said, your vines will keep growing, grow out that way, but they won't put any more leaves back this way. So, um, I'm going to let this cush out grow over here. And I will just wind that cush out back and forth through this uh, through this bed. Now let me water my goji bed. I ain't been watering them. Rain's really been watering them for me. Y'all, my goji berries been blooming. Y'all see the flowers? Look at the little goji berry. Um, I got some pomegranates. I think I'm gonna stick in the ground. But these things really have gone to flowering. When your goji berry. Uh, takes hold you'll know it and look at the mulberry yeah i remember when i put them in there just a little stick so if you think a mulberry can't give you a really good tree i really don't do much to it because i don't hardly water the thing i come over here and water my goji berry but um is this a ground cherry that's ready or is this one that i've eaten uh-uh this is ready wait a minute I got too much going on. I'm spraying my phone. Ooh, they ground chill good. Them things be so sweet. Ooh, they be sweet. Now, I won't tell y'all. I have the pineapple variety. Um, and I still need to sit down and do my little talk because there's another variety. I got to be careful with my cush out. Oh, hell. Oh, the hose. Okay, that's good. But yeah, I have to be careful. See, I bent that leaf down. Hopefully, it'll stand back up, but it's only one leaf. Ooh, that was looking so pretty. But anyway, um, I found another variety that they say is even sweeter than the pineapple. I haven't bought the seeds yet, y'all. I'm on seed punishment. I told y'all. I'm not buying anything until uh, I use up a little bit more of the seeds that I got. I'm saying a little bit, a lot of bit. Um, I want to tell y'all this. We had a storm 
and the storm kind of pulled back some of my uh two and i'd be doggone if the vine board just that fast in one night got in there and the vine boards have gotten my squash that's why it's looking a little bit thin see back that way it's looking thin the vine boards have gotten my squash um oh this is gonna speed up my watering now that i don't fix this pump that impeller was so messed up it, it when your impeller's worn out there's no flow to your pump but anyway um but it's not all bad news because guess what even if that uh if these squash die remember i told y'all my homegirl sent me those uh honey nut uh squash seeds i'm actually kind of excited to try those so if these down out or i might decide to rip them on out I'm gonna go ahead and plant those honey nuts because it's Jul the middle of July. It's July 17th or so. And I think I got enough time to try to, uh, I think I got enough time to try to, look how far that spray. Uh-uh, I got to get this together. Cause I can't be tearing my cush out of it. I'm trying to make sure all my stuff on the side, my roselle and stuff get watered. But anyhow, uh, I want to try those honey nut, and I think I got enough time to do so. So that would actually be beneficial to me. And hopefully, um, well, I'll keep them covered good. I'm also not as toe up about these squash getting vine boards because I have been harvesting. Anybody that knows in the past when I grew squash, a lot of times, I couldn't even get to the harvest phase um, because the vine borers were waiting my stuff just the females just start making and then they would get me this year I've harvested quite a bit even though I haven't really shown y'all a whole lot of harvesting um, but I have been harvesting and um so I'm not, as, that's why I'm also not as pissed about it. It's cool when I, you know, if the plants go out, but let me get something first. Look how pretty those Serranos. Um, I think I want to plant something on the other half of there or spread those out, one of the two. But um, soon I'll have some Crayola cellar peppers or whatever. But, uh-oh, I'm out of water. That's another thing about when your pump is working good, you be, you run out of water. But that's most of my water, and y'all, the only thing I didn't water over there was those two. Um, but I'm going to let y'all go. This video is long enough, but I just wanted to give y'all an update and let y'all water with me. So until next time, see you guys later.